What do you think the committee wants to, to hear from? Uh, what, what topics in particular? Well, as they pointed out, you're going to get two. The Senate Intelligence Committee is going to go after foreign influence on the social network platforms. Uh, and then the House uh, on Energy and Commerce is going to go after bias, uh, specifically with Twitter. Uh, and so you're going to get um, a full round of questions, most of which I think are just mostly posturing for the midterm elections. I don't think anything will come of this, but, you know, it'll be an interesting circus. Michael, Wall Street wants to know whether this represents any major threat, regulation or action from Congress to these business models. Do you expect to hear any questions or what should we be listening for on that front? Look, I think for both hearings, it's important that these executives are going to testify. It brings more transparency and helps educate policymakers on how the platforms work. Um, and it's in the business interests of the companies to do that. And clearly they've made major improvements and made active steps both on the foreign interference and as it relates to um, uh, conservative bias, I think it's very clear that that doesn't exist, and that's certainly not in the business interest, and I applaud uh, both Sheryl Sandberg and Jack Dorsey for going to testify this week. Well, you say you're, you're pretty sure that those things don't exist, but it, aren't these companies a little bit in, a, uh, in the mode of trying to prove a negative here? I mean, just in, in the sense of being under uh, the spotlight and seeming to take action against uh, some potential threats to their platforms that may or may not be there. You're right, it's hard, you can't prove the negative, but it's very clear from anybody that has used the platforms, and particularly on the conservative side, um, people are able to have an audience of millions and millions of people um, without a filter and speak directly to their audiences on these platforms, and they're very open and transparent, and frankly has been an incredible tool for both sides of the aisle to get their voices heard um, in a way that uh, is not possible in other forms of media or communication. Edward, are all these tech companies facing uh, the, the political wrath as much as each other, or is there one that, that's going to be singled out? Well, I think Twitter is coming under a sharp focus. I don't know that necessarily I'd agree that the, that the bias does not exist. I'm not an expert, I can't tell you. But when you ban the president's account for 11 minutes, um, you've got something to explain for. And there's been several other examples in the recent past where you've seen people on the right being banned or shadow banned. And a similar, uh, similar discourse on the left, there's been nothing done. So whether or not it exists, it's hard to prove, or it may be incidental to begin with. But the fact is, they're getting large enough now that they could fall under regulation uh, by the government if they so desire. But that's a much longer process that's going to take a lot more in terms of congressional and executive uh, action. And I don't think there's any danger of that coming from these, uh, these hearings, which, I, as I mentioned, are pretty much, I think, for a uh, prelude to the midterm election. So, as they said in the lead-in, um, it's pretty much get in front of the cameras before your midterm and let your constituents know that you're at least doing something or appear to be doing something about it.